Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to your girl channel. Hey number one ones, how are y'all doing? I hope y'all are amazing. Hope y'all are living good, feeling good, beautiful and all of that. So y'all, today is really like an interview type thing. It's not no topic discussion. It's not no relationship talk. It's not a vlog. It's not cooking. Today I just want to do a little something different. So today I am interviewing myself for y'all so y'all can get to know me. I feel like y'all are my subscribers. Y'all are my peoples now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like friends, y'all. You know, y'all are getting to know my life and getting to know me. So why not get y'all to know me? Period. And if y'all liking this hair, I'm loving it. My boyfriend mother gave it to me and I thank her so much for it. I'm just grateful, y'all, beyond measures. Like J. Cole said, love yours. Okay. Enough of that. So we about to get straight into the questions. So the first question I feel like is a good question to ask myself to answer for y'all is, why did I change my YouTube name to Lexi like that? Okay, if y'all originally know uh, me and when you started following me or subscribing to my channel from day one, shout out to y'all because y'all know my youtube name was lexi lex that was my youtube name but the reason why i changed it is because it was spelled different and unique from other girls but it's so common like when i searched lexi lex on youtube about oh excuse me about four different other girls came up and yes i do stand out yes i am unique in my own way of course i'm not the same as someone else but I'm like, what's the need of having my name the exact same as other people? I want to be unique. I want to stand out. So, that's why I changed it to Lexi Light It. Moving on. Question number two. Where did I get the idea to do Lexi Topics? So, really where I got the idea to do Lexi Topic is really deep within. And also, I watched Drea and Lex. Shout out to y'all. Salute to the sisters period pull but yeah i was watching them a lot and they were doing their podcast show they're still doing amazing they really motivated me to um go even more harder with the topics but let's keep it real let's keep it honest i've been motivational i've been motivating others for a long time before i even discover them it's always been my calling it's always something i knew i wanted to do so that's why i decided to do the Lexi topics because I know certain topics that I talk about y'all can relate and y'all may can get a message from it and I just like to help people so that's why I chose to do Lexi topics number three are you passionate in doing your topics so basically um it kind of ties in to number two yes I am passionate in Lexi topics because like I said I was motivated by Lex and Drea, but I also was motivated within for sure. Um, I love motivating people. It comes from a deeper place because I know how it is for people to be um, lost, the people to need like some motivation or some help. So that's why I am so passionate in doing the topic discussions. Um, how long have you been with your boyfriend? So I've been with my boyfriend with his big ass self going on six years so valentine's day would be six years all right number five was there ever a time you felt you didn't want to be in a relationship and why um yes of course i feel like a lot of people go through this but you know we're not talking about a lot of people we're talking about man but yes <laughs> there was a time that i didn't i felt like maybe this isn't it for the relationship um and why i would just say because rocks in the road like you know different obstacles that come in our way sometimes it'd be hard to bounce back sometimes sometimes you just want to be like i don't got time for this you know what i'm saying i don't want to do this anymore or are we really can we really you know what i'm saying bounce back can we really tug and war and thug it out and be good together like sometimes that's questionable in a relationship especially when you get to that mark or especially if something happens that's very unexpected because you're immature at that time so yeah y'all that's what it was and i'm not gonna go too deep into that because i don't really discuss my deep personal business but yeah just know y'all there was a time okay um was there ever a time you felt okay i didn't answer that number six 
how old are you? So, I am 25 years old, y'all. February the 11th, which is my birthday. Ah! I will be 26, which is coming up in 10 days. So, yeah, y'all, y'all make sure y'all tell me happy birthday. I might vlog for y'all, which more than likely I am vlogging on my birthday. I'm going to be lit. I'm going to be turned. And no, I don't know what I want to do yet. I do know I want to go to the spa, though. And I do know I want to go out to eat. So, yeah. Um, Where did you grow up? So, I grew up in Greenville, North Carolina. I grew up in a small city. It's still an amazing city, though. It's like, it built me. Like, it's really the roots of me. It's where I'm from. These are my roots. Yeah, I grew up in Greenville, North Carolina, the 252. <laughs> Period. Okay. Were you popular in school? Honestly and truthfully, I was definitely popular in school. But, I'm going to put it like this. I was a popular loner, even though I knew almost everybody. Or pretty much everybody. I didn't hang with everybody. It's like I still wanted to be separate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how it was. Did you, do you have siblings? So, no, I do not have siblings. And I think that's maybe why in school I was so popular. But I didn't want to hang with people. Because I seen how they were moving. I just seen... I just see through people. And certain things I don't like, I just fall back. And I just don't want to be around nobody. But I feel like that can be a reason why as well I didn't really hang around too many people because I am the only child and I kind of am used to being alone. Yeah. Are you still afraid of rejection? So for all that knows me, and even if you all do not know me, obviously you're getting to know me, I had a big, strong ego for rejection, like, Anything, like, I used to be scared to ask people for stuff because I think they would say no. I used to didn't want to come up to people for nothing because I really would think they wouldn't want to be bothered with me. And that's something I had to really get out of my head because you can't get nowhere in life like that. And you don't know if the person's going to say yes or no. Like, the worst they could say is yes or no. So I just didn't like to come up to people because I felt like they would just, or I would be, you know what I'm saying, too... I don't know. Y'all, I've been dealing with that for a while, and I'm finally over that for real, for real. So, yeah, that's a blessing. Um, What you like to do for fun? So, y'all, what I really like to do for fun, <laughs> and I'm thinking about doing it on my birthday, but I know it's too cold. I really love water. Like, I love to go in the water. I love the pool, jacuzzi, water park. It don't matter. I like to skate. I like to bowl. I like to go to the movies. I like to dance. I like to sing. I just like to do a lot of stuff, y'all. I feel like I'm very multi-talented um, and free-spirited. So, it's like I'm kind of down for whatever a little bit. I just love to have fun, y'all. I'm going to put it like that. Okay. Will you be coming out with another cover singing video? So, like I said, y'all, I do like to sing and stuff. Um, I'm kind of known for singing a little as well. And I don't know when I'm going to be coming out with another cover singing video. If y'all never seen me sing or never heard me sing or do a cover video, it's on my page. It's like one of the first videos that I ever posted on my page. And that's way down there. But if you scroll way down there, you're going to see it. And I don't know when I'm going to do another one. To be continued. Alright y'all, so that's pretty much it. Those was my 12 questions to get to know your girl Lexi which my real name is to Lexis if y'all was wondering mm -hmm. but yeah y'all that was it I hope this was fun for y'all I hope y'all was excited to get to know your girl you know like I said number one was I thank y'all so much for my subscribers whether it's two whether it's three thank you for getting me to 227 and it's just gonna keep going up and up and up from here I respect y'all I love y'all. I thank y'all for rocking with me this long. And for the new subscribers, like I said, hey, number one ones, how y'all doing? And I'm going to keep dropping, like, videos like this every now and again. Like, different questions on me that I think y'all may want to know. Yeah. So, until the next video, peace out. Make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what was y'all favorite part of the video. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Mwah!